All right. All right. Can you hear me, Alan? Alan, can you hear Mark? Okay. Oh. All right, good. Time Warner Cable's coverage of high school basketball continues with the final game of the 2010 Ironton Classic presented by the Tri-State Builders and Construction Trades Council. Our matchup tonight, the Apaches of Arlington Country Day from Jacksonville, Florida. They'll take on the pioneers of our savior to American from Long Island, New York. And with my partner, Mark Maynard, this is Rich Gaynor. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. We're at the Conley Center for the final game of this 2010 Ironton Classic. And Mark, as we dive into this matchup, for Arlington Country Day, they come on with a record of 9-0, and and they're led by Rutgers signee Jordan Goodman, who had 13 points and 9 rebounds last night, leading them in a 62-52 win over Princeton. Yeah, they had a really hard-fought game last night, and I, I thought Goodman played really well. I know he's got a foot injury, a little bit of a turf toe, and uh, he played through that, played through the pain, and, and was a real key to their, their win over a, a very good Princeton team. Game got a little chippy uh, there in the middle yeah. of the third quarter, but uh, tempers were contained and they were able to pull off a 10 point win so we'll definitely watch out for Goodman as an impact player tonight in the ball game. On the other side of the floor you've got Javon Thomas who has come to St. John's University to play for new head coach Steve Lavin in the Big Apple. He was very quiet last night just two points and a 76-48 thumping they took against yeah. Huntington Prep. Yeah he, he didn't play well and, but you know what nobody on that team played well last night. I, I think uh, a lot had to do with Huntington Prep very talented team obviously but uh, I'm sure our savior wants to, to uh, play a little better tonight and, and make a better showing. That, that, was, that was not the team that, that everybody expected to see. They didn't play well at all. Pioneers come up with a record of five and two, led by head coach Ron Stelzer. And his starting lineup looks like this. Nick Lewis will be at the guard, a 6'1 junior. Joined by Felix Balamu, a 6'2 junior. And Will Martinez will join him in the backcourt, a 6'2 senior. Up front, Christopher Opekba, a 6'9 junior. And uh, Uda Sumaro in the middle, a 6'10 senior from Africa. And we'll look at the Apaches, led by 16th year head coach Rex Morgan, and they'll look at this at the guard position. Carlos Morris, a 6'5 junior guarded, joined by Ian Baker, a 6'1 junior. Gary Brown, also a backcourt mate, a 6'1 senior. And up front, the aforementioned Jordan Goodman, a 6'10 junior. And Michael Javis, a 6'10 senior for the 9-0 Apaches, led by Rex Morgan, as you can see, in his 16th season, and he gets his group ready to go. On the 1970 Final Four team that lost to UCLA, he was one of the captains of that team with uh, the great artist Gilmore, and they fell to UCLA uh, in College Park, Maryland. Yeah, they actually broke my heart that year. They beat the University of Kentucky in Columbus, and I'm, I'll still never forget that headline screaming at me in the paper about Jacksonville sunning Kentucky with Dan Issel. So... Uh, yeah, I remember Rex Morgan well. <laughs> well, he was a heck of a player, and uh, he went on to play overseas for a few years, and he has been the head man since 1994 in Jacksonville. The Apaches in the white uniforms with the green block lettering, the pioneers of our Savior to American, in the Navy uniforms with the white and purple block lettering on the chest. Our officials, Tony Sykes. Mike Lemons and Jack McKinney. And we're just about set to get underway here at the Conley Center to wrap up this 2010 Ironton Classic. And Mark, it's been a really successful event. And Mark LaFon has done a great job running this event. Uh, the third time uh, he's done it, and he's had some big time teams coming for this event. Yeah, they keep getting better and better. And, and uh, I tell you what, it's like a who's who around here. I know uh, one player from last year, uh, Duran Lamb. Uh, playing for the University of Kentucky, had 32 points today as a freshman, set the record as a freshman. Uh, in over a win, in over a win. Winthrop? Yes, and went over Winthrop. So, uh, you know, they got quite an alumni club going here from this tournament. Well, it'll continue next year from what I've been told. Oak Hill Academy will be back. Steve Smith, who wrapped up another championship out at Honolulu last night, beating Montverde Academy by 15 points on the very far left coast <laughs> and they'll be traveling back to the mouth of Wilson today and a turnover to begin action for the Pioneers 
It was a big problem for them last night against uh, Huntington Prep. Here's Goodman, strong to the goal, missed it, and a foul with it against Opekba. And that's the first foul against Christopher in the first foul of the game. Huntington Prep had such size, uh, such a size advantage, which they do over everybody, that they could gamble so much out front defensively, and that really got to uh, our savior last night, I thought, and really put him in an early hole. Goodman's first free throw is up and good. I know they'd like to get off to a better start today. He's just a strong, athletic kid. His father's yeah. sitting behind us, and he's got longer dreadlocks than his son does. Wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Second one is in and out. Rebound comes down to Opekba. My dreadlock days are long gone. <laughs> Here's Martinez down the lane. Flips up a shot, and he didn't draw iron. Offensive rebound is Sumaro. Another tip. Looks like it was over the rim, and a... Outrage bench for the Pioneers of our Savior. On the right wing, a three is off the back rim. No good by Baker. And here come the Pioneers. It's Lewis going coast to coast. He traveled with it. So a turnover. And the Apaches with the one made free throw from Goodman have a one point lead with a minute gone here. Goodman couldn't handle the pass. It's intercepted by Lewis. Lewis turned it back over. Look out for the big fella, Javas, and he throws it down. He had a nice, nice game last night as well in their victory over Princeton. That's already three turnovers, Rich, for uh, our savior, New American. In about 70 seconds or so. Yep. Apekpa. Lewis, I mean, our savior got off to a really slow start last night, just couldn't get it together. Here's Sumaro working down low. We'll go for him. Will not get the roll, but the foul's against Javis. Good job getting it into him, though. Good, good look down low, and that's what they need to do, establish that inside if they can a little bit, and that'll take some pressure off the outside, and maybe the perimeter game will come around a little bit. Both coaches do a great job of going overseas and getting recruits, especially our Savior New American. They've had some great talent throughout the years. Juan Diego Palacios, who played for Rick Pitino at Louisville, he went to our Savior New American. Benoit Bacono played at UC Riverside. James Chana played at Fresno State. And he just does a great job of going overseas, has some strong overseas connections. And some college coaches also get these guys to come over and play at our Savior and then sure. hopefully go play for them in college. It usually doesn't happen, though. Right. Uh, yeah, he's got, uh, and he's got quite a crew here, you can see. Uh, uh, this, this roster we're, we're trying to pronounce. <laughs> yeah, there's some tough ones on this one, so bear with us. Here's Morris getting inside to Javis. Jump hook is no good. Gets his own rebound. Missed it again. It's loose in the rebound to Opekpa. Well, there's a lid on that thing on both sides. Two minutes gone, and the Pioneers haven't gotten a point in their fourth turnover as they try to thread the needle of Sumaro, and it goes out of bounds. Back come the Apaches quickly, and that's Brown working with Baker, his backcourt mate. Brown, a 6'1 senior. He's got the basketball now, number 10 in white. Here's Morris, playing a little two-man game with Brown. He goes down the lane, a 14-foot runner, no good. Ball is tipped, and here come the Pioneers with a two-on-one. Here's Thomas inserted in the ball game to Martinez, and he scores. So nice two-on-one break there. Javon Thomas gets the assist, and Martinez, the first hoop for the Pioneers. Martinez was the player I think I was most impressed with last night in that, in that game with Huntington. He did play well at the guard position last night, Mark. 3-2, Apaches on top of the Pioneers. 5.15 to go here in the first quarter. On time, Warner Cable Sports. Our director, Alan Brown, in the truck. And Gary Sweeney will be on the sidelines with us to interview the coaches at halftime. Mark Maynard, I'm Rich Gaynor. Thanks a lot for joining us this evening as Goodman fires, and it goes off the top of the backboard, out of bounds, so the Pioneers will get it back. Goodman has some range last night. He, he displayed that last night, and I'm sure he has the rest of the year. He, uh, he can hit the, the three-point shot, he can hit that mid-range shot, and he can go inside. He uh, handles the ball pretty well, too, for a big guy. He's, he's a nice prospect. Mufe Adukoko is checked into the ball game for the Pioneers of our Savior New American, and he'll be wearing 23 in the blue. Backdoor cut goes Martinez. Locked by Goodman, some great athleticism on the glass. Here come the Apaches, they want to run. It's Baker to the goal. Oh, nice shot. So Ian Baker taking it strong to the cup. 
5-2, ACD. 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. Mark, they're doing a great job getting out on the break, and that's what head coach Rex Morgan wants to do. Oh, yeah, he wants to run it. And, uh, boy, they, they are just having a hard time hitting in this gym. Thomas with a brick from three. Here comes Baker, lost it on the way up, gets it back. And they'll reset the offense. Here's Goodman on the right wing, a three, in and out. And it'll go off of a Duke ago. Goodman will pull that trigger when he's open. He should be taking that off the dribble and just going in and drawing yeah. some fouls. Yeah, there's nobody near him. It's Coach Rex Morgan. Talked about him a little earlier. He's had some talent, too. Uh, he's he's done a tremendous job down there. He's sent uh, – he's got three players right now on Kansas State's roster, active players. Wow. Javis goes up, can't convert, gets his own rebound. The big fellow to the goal, and they're going to call hold against Javon Thomas. And a substitution in for the Pioneers. Vasha Janessia, 6'8 <laughs> senior. It's easy for you to say. Nice pass by Javis inside, and the shot is missed by Morse. And the rebound is grabbed down by Janessia. 5-2 Pioneers down by three, 3.50 to go first quarter. LeBrent Walker, who started last night's game into the ball game, and the runner is nice. good by Felix Balamu. So his first two of the night. Back come the Apaches on the right wing. Shot is long by Baker, and the Pioneers are on the glass. Thomas wants to run. Thomas trying to thread the needle, and he does. Outside, Balamu, ball fake. Nice hands by Morris. Down the lane, missed shot by LeBrent Walker. And here come the Apaches. It's Gary Brown, coast to coast, drew some contact, no call. Morris dumps it back to Brown, and he gets stripped by Balamu. So some good defense getting back for the Pioneers. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing. I'm not so sure it's a lack of offense as much as it is, has been very good defense on both sides of the, of the floor. Uh, they've, they are quick-handed and, and contest everything. Thomas ahead of the field. He's going to pull it up because he's got a 6'10 guy running after him. <laughs> Here's Balamu. 15-foot pull-up. Book it. Second basket of the game. And the Pioneers have grabbed their first lead of the night. All right. Here's Goodman going to try another three. And he got it right down the middle. Can't give him enough, too much room now. He'll knock no. down a few if you give him some space. And they, that's what what they're doing. It seems like they're they're not they're, they don't mind if he shoots that. He's got four. Does Goodman down the lane? Goes Balamu and it's blocked. Rebound. Balamu about a 12 footer on the baseline and he got it. So he's got the last six for the Pioneers and we're all tied at eight. Back inside is Michael Chavez. Chavez is very active underneath. He'll get some interest. He's a senior. Three-pointer in the corner by Balamu. Wow, he He's on fire <laughs> right now. You're not kidding. He's got nine of the 11 for our savior. And the Pioneers with a one-point lead. A minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. There we go. And Ian Baker buys one from deep. So some three-pointers have been traded here, Mark. 13-11 ACD. Starting to loosen up maybe a little bit, huh? An up-and-down game here tonight. Didn't expect anything less with these two Titans going out. Mm. it. Chavez with a great block as Thomas tried to take it inside. Here comes Morris. Morris, crossover dribble, 15-footer. Got it, a foul. Looks like a foul on the inside action, not on Morris. The shooter, the basket's going to count, and the foul is going to be charged against Janessia. And Mark uh, Morris showing his stuff here. Nice little crossover dribble for the 15-footer. Yes, uh, Morris had, uh, here, here we go, we're seeing that again there. Nice, beautiful shot, 15 to 11 now. Janessia is called with a foul, his first third on the team. So Morris got hit from behind and he was able to knock it in from 15 and 
Old fashioned three point play opportunity and he got it 16-11 with a minute to go here in the first quarter at the Conley Center here in Ironton, Ohio. Horse had 17 last night. Uh, had a really good game and played very well for, for the Apaches. Trying to get a repeat performance here tonight. Pioneers trying to end the quarter strong. Martinez a three and he tickles the twine from deep. A three point barrage here is an ACD three by Morris. Missed rebound to Kofi Josephs who checked into the ball game. Down the lane, Sumaro got a piece of it. The big fellow for our savior, 55 in blue. And the Apaches will have it underneath their basket with 28.2 remaining here in the opening stanza. Goodman taking a break here on the bench. Last minute or so of the first quarter. Brown on the left hand wing, no good. Offensive rebound is missed by Delron Summy. Final shot here possibly for the Pioneers here in the first quarter. Martinez is gonna try another one off the back rim. And here come the Apaches with a chance with 10 seconds to go on a blocking foul against Javon Thomas. And that's his second personal. So Javon Thomas with all the, the hype coming into this thing, Mark, is pretty it's frustrating. He's, for he's played a pretty frustrating couple games here, at least the first five quarters yep. here in Ironton. He has to be very careful now. And, and uh, they, they may look at putting somebody in for him right away here. He's, three he's a, such an aggressive player. Three seconds to go. They kick it. Shot's not going to count by Brown, so that ends the first quarter of play. So some up and down action, some three pointers, some inside baskets for both teams. And the Apaches have a 16-14 lead over our savior here on Time Warner Cable Sports. We're back at the Conley Center here at Ironton High School, the 2010 Ironton Classic, the final game here in the tri-state area. And Mark, the key to the first quarter has been Felix Balamu, who's really been feeling it from outside for the Pioneers. He sure has, and uh, the three-point play is, three-point shot has been a big key for them. And Balamu drops that one in, and Martinez hit one, and they got right back in this thing, and their perimeter game's starting to click a little bit. So we'll see what happens here in the second quarter. He's got nine first quarter points, does Felix Balamoon. He's got the basketball right now. He oh, that's a travel, but he got away with it. He <laughs> referee said it was deflected. I didn't see it. <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> nonetheless, he's the first player of the game in double figures with 11. Yeah, he is, he is really playing well. Tied at 16. Half a minute through the first quarter, or through the second quarter, rather. Here's a turnover. Martinez ahead of the field, and he'll lay it in. Will Martinez, another impressive outing for the senior. Opeka with a rebound and Pioneers with a two point lead in possession with Martinez running the point. Malamu last night only had one three pointer. That's all he had in the game, he had three points. So he's making up for lost time. Here's Martinez driving baseline cut off and they're gonna call a charge against Will, his first personal. Yeah, Martinez is uh, the aggressive kind of kind of player you like to have, though, isn't he? And Ron Stelzer is telling his his senior leader to be careful and pull up for the short jumper, as you see. He right. just he just ran over Kofi Josephs. Yeah, he's a he is a strong looking kid too. I'll tell you, I, I wouldn't want to have to take that charge. <laughs> inside, oh, rejected wow. inside by Opeka. He got up quick. He sure did. Pogo sticks for legs. Inside goes 
Balamu, and he's got another one. And he'll be at the line for a three-point opportunity. They are going to have to do something with Balamu. He is now six for eight from the field. 13 points. Junior Etsu, the 6'8 sophomore that checked into the ball game, is charged with his first personal second on the team. What set that whole play up, though, was the block uh, at the other end of the floor. That, that, yeah. that, Opeka. Mm -hmm. that, that was the play. And Malamu's free throw is short. Javis with a rebound. Patty's back into the front court. Here's Goodman on the left wing in front of us. He'll try a three in and out. Loose ball on the floor. Apache's come up with it, and that's Kofi Josephs getting the loose ball for ACD. So Gary Brown, Ian Baker in the ball game, along with Jordan Goodman, Michael Javis. And here's a three on the wing for Kofi Josephs. And Josephs cuts it to a one-point lead, his first basket of the night. They are raining them in from, from downtown, aren't they? They are doing a great job shooting from the outside. A lot better performance for the Pioneers than they had last night. Got blew out of the water by 28 to Huntington Prep, who looked impressive again earlier tonight. And they've got some studs on their team. Wow, nice job. Apeka gets inside and scores. So Opeka gets a three-point lead. Nice shot inside as Goodman spins and puts it off the window. kind of plays you'd like to see in, in a tournament like this. You, you want to see these big guys perform. Watch them. We're going to get to see him again here. He goes through the middle, cutting through the lane, and Dipsy does it and gets fouled. And oh, nice shot there by our camera crew on the baseline. And Goodman's at the charity line. He's got one. Two-point ball game. I beg your pardon, tie ball game. 22 apiece. 5.35 remaining here in the first half. Goodman's got seven for the Apaches. It's our third time of the, of the evening. Martinez looking for the lob over the top, but Opekba didn't go back door, and it went off of the ACD defenders. A little miscommunication. No one for our savior was around them. Yeah, there's like three guys there with the ACD. So our savior with it. Underneath their own basket, they'll reset the offense. Skip pass to Balamu. He's going to ball fake. He's got the hot hand. He goes inside. Can't get the finger roll. Sumaro with a tip. That don't, doesn't go, and it goes out of bounds off of Felix Balamu. So ACD will get it back. You can tell those shooters when they get get hot like that, they, they want to go to the hole and they want to do whatever they can to put those shots up and, and that's where he's feeling it right now. And I would say our savior's saying, go right ahead. <laughs> hey, go ahead. You got the hot hand? Yeah, that's right. A little heat check there, Mark. 22 all, 4.50 to go here in the first half. Goodman playing that middle of the floor nicely, kicks it out for Josephs, missed it. And here comes Javon Thomas for the Pioneers. Thomas with a left-hand dribble out to Martinez. And they'll pull it back out and run their offense. Here's the screen from Opek, but a little roll to the goal. Turnover, Goodman with it for the Apaches. ACD with it on the break. Here's Baker, now to Goodman. Goodman goes down the lane, and he's held by Opekba. And Opekba's second personal. Thomas seems like he's the one that really hadn't got on track yet uh, in this tournament. No, a slow start, you know, just uh, not getting to the goal, turning the ball over, just not playing his type of basketball. and Getting early fouls, and uh, that doesn't help you any, I guess. But No, it never does. But he's just kind of struggling right now. Mufe Aduko is back into the ball game for our savior. Goodman's got two here for the Apaches. First one's up and good. Both these teams have pretty deep rosters. So, uh, you know, if somebody is having a bad game, there's always somebody else to, to stick in there. Well, Carlos Morris, number two in white, has been offered by Cincinnati, Miami, University of Central Florida, Tennessee, and South Carolina. And of course, Goodman has committed to Rutgers, so he'll be in the Big East. And he's just a junior. So he'll have to wait 
two more years to lace them up in the Big East. 4-10 remaining here in the first half, 24-22. ACD on top of our Savior New American. Balamu, Sumaro, Balamu, 17-footer is partially blocked by Javis. Ball's on the floor, and they come up with it. Sumaro in the paint. Extra pass to Martinez in the left-hand corner, no good. Crashing the glass is Balamu, and a foul on the interior. And the foul's gonna be charged against Carlos Morris. Morris' first personal third team foul. And Martinez will trigger it in to Javon Thomas. Thomas looking for a screen from Sumaro. He gets it. Martinez, skip pass, Balamu, ball fake. Sumaro, nice up and under. A friendly roll here in Ironton from the team from Long Island, Mark. That's nice, a uh, nice bounce there for sure. and Good good head pick to get open. Goodman for three. Off the side of the rim, no good. And an offensive rebound is Ian Baker. Ian Baker, was a good Baker on the opposite side of the goal, and he's got seven. And a 26-24 lead for the Apaches. Goodman is locking that three-point line, he's, but he's not hitting it so much. He's one for five. Maybe a ball fake and a strong drive to the basket would be in order for the big fella. And as Balamu goes inside, he gets hammered. Charged against Felix Balamu. Correction, Balamu is right, he's going, to the line. going to the line. There's a nice uh, entry pass there, and he, and he, he sees the cutting Balamu, fires it over to him. Fouls on Carlos Morris. I just have my two screwed up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to do here. Free throw is up and good for Felix Balamu. He has got 14 of the 25 for the Pioneers, the 6'2 junior. Second one is missed. Chavez wow. collects the rebound. It's five boards for Chavez here. Chavez doing a great job on the interior tonight for ACD. 6'10 senior. Shot is no good. Goodman oh, with nice. a rebound. Nice use of the left hand to score. He is. Uh, he can be a very effective player wherever he is on the floor. And I'm like you, I think maybe go inside, get some baskets, uh, get that confidence going again, then go back out and shoot your threes. You're seeing Goodman on that rebound there. Like you said uh, before, Rich, nice job with the left hand. Foul is on to do with Samaro, and Samaro picks up his first personal. Pioneers down by four. Largest lead of the game for the Apaches. Been a pretty tight one here so far. Thomas tries to cross over. Nice hands by Summy. Up ahead here is Goodman Ooh. trying to sky inside, and he's fouled on the way up. <laughs> His eyes got huge as he saw <laughs> the goal getting closer. That could have been a dangerous uh, yeah. jam if he was able to accelerate just a little bit more as Martinez yeah. reached in saw on the, the way up. Saw the replay there. It, yeah, that was a very dangerous play there, but the crowd was getting a little bit excited too. Had a little bit of buzz going with that one. Free throw comes off the rim though. That was on Will Martinez. That was his second personal team's eighth. Free throw is up and no good, so he missed them both. Don't want to do that. Still a four point lead for Arlington Country Day. 2.15 to go here in the first half. Balamu with it. Nice crossover dribble as he went by Baker. Lost it. Sumaro gets it back. Thomas, right wing, pull up just inside the three point line is no good. Rebound comes down to Baker. He loses it on the floor. Martinez rips it away from him, goes inside. Tried to throw the lob, and Martinez stepped out of bounds. It's eight turnovers now for our savior. Hadn't had one in a while, though. End of the game now, Opekba returns for the Pioneers. You've got Delron Summy, Gary Brown, Ian Baker in the backcourt for the Apaches. And up front, 
Chavez and yeah. Kofi Joseph in a traveling violation. Nick Lewis back in here for the Pioneers. We had, a nice, had a little stretch there where both teams were just hitting everything. Uh, they've now kind of cooled back off again. Yeah, a little bit of a lull here in the second quarter. Lewis trying to feed it off in a turnover. Out of bounds, back to our savior, New American. Substitution coming in now for the Pioneers. Number three, LeBrent Walker. And they'll pull out Nick Lewis. And Ron Stelzer will give him a little talking to on the bench for the Pioneers. Coaching him up. Maduka go. Martinez trying to get inside. Tough shot, good defense by the Apaches, and they come away with it. Minute to go here in the first half. Here's Baker on a pull up. That's true for Ian Baker. So Baker's got nine, 31-25. He's kind of quietly done that, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Six-point lead for ACD. Backdoor cut, Balamu couldn't handle it, turnover. Kofi Josephs comes away with it for the Apaches. 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Brown to Josephs. He's going to rise and fire. Three, and he got it. 34-25, and if you're Ron Stelzer, that's not the way you want to end the first half. No, momentum clearly with uh, Arlington. Seven zero run here to open up this nine-point lead. Down the lane, and call for steps is Chris Opekba. Turnovers are really hurting our Savior again, as they did last night. It's number 11. Double-digit turnovers in the first half, and that will not ever settle well with the coaching staff. 11 field goals, 11 turnovers. That's your Maynard stat of the night for the first half. <laughs> there you go. Last possession here for the Apaches with 10 seconds to go. Here's Brown on the left wing. Skips it, the extra pass into the corner. Kofi Josephs. Ooh. That would have been a backbreaker if that would have gone. Balamu with it, he's up a 70-footer and does not draw iron. So we have come to the conclusion of the first half. The Apaches end the first half on a 7-0 run. They've got a nine-point lead, 34-25 over the pioneers of our Savior New American. And Rex Morgan is headed to the locker room and the pioneers are as well. Gary Sweeney will be joined by Rex Morgan here in just a moment. Interesting first half so far. Uh, Game of runs. Uh, yeah, it really is. And uh, okay, our Savior showed, showed some things that, that they've done a lot better than they did last night for sure. But they've got to cut, cut out those turnovers. Well, there's Ron Stelzer and his coaching staff for the Pioneers of our Savior New American. We'll throw it over to Gary Sweeney with head coach Rex Morgan. Gary. Coach, you're up nine going into the halftime. Your offense is starting to sputter in the first quarter, but come to, come to life in the second. How do you improve at halftime? I'll, I'll take nine points and go home right now. You know, I mean, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. We pushed the ball. We made some shots. Um, we got to him in the bonus. I thought we should have attacked the rim more, and we didn't do it. But uh, we're playing very good defense. I mean, we held him to 25 points. That's just, if I can play defense like that, I'm happy. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Coach Rex Morgan in the Arlington Country Day Apaches. We'll look to improve their offense going into the second half. Back to you, Rich. Thank you, Gary, very much. It is 34-25. Arlington Country Day with a nine-point halftime lead here at the Conley Center. This is the 2010 Ironton Classic on Time Warner Cable Sports.
do. I don't, I'm not sure. You, yeah. You yeah. got us now. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We heard you. Yeah, we're good. Minute 130. So what are we doing? We're coming out with. Oh, All right. All right, so we'll talk about the threes in the first quarter and then how the game kind of slowed down and we'll go to Gary. Right. All right. Good enough. Halftime at the Conley Center here in Ironton, Ohio, the 2010 Ironton Classic. Alongside Mark Maynard, I'm Rich Gaynor. Thanks for joining us. And Mark, tonight, both teams have been living and dying by the three so far this evening. Yeah, really mostly dying. <laughs> we see one going up here uh, from uh, Arlington that did go in. They were four for 16, though. And uh, half their three point or half their shots for the for the night from the three point line and even coach Morgan uh, uh, talked about uh, the need to go inside a little more so uh, I mean uh, th and that's what they really need to look at here we go we're going to look at another three point shot getting set up there looks like Kofi Joseph's on the wing yeah. and he knocks it in so Joseph's here in the first half has six points he's two of four from downtown Let's send it over to our sideline guy, Gary Sweeney, who's with head coach Ron Stelzer. Gary. Coach, you kept it close in the first quarter and started the Arlington Country Day started a bit to pull away in the second quarter. You're down nine. What adjustments do you make at halftime? Well, what I'm going to try to do is uh, spread it out a little bit more on offense. We're going to go to a man-to-man -to, -man to start the second half, see if we can put a little more pressure on the ball. And uh, just see if we can uh, spread it out and drive it to the basket a little bit and see if that helps us and hopefully go better to the boards and get back quick on defense and see what happens. Okay, thanks a lot, Coach. Back to you, Rich. All right, Gary, thank you. Another key to the first half, Mark, has been the turnovers, and the Pioneers had double digits in that category in the first half. Yeah, that's what really hurt them last night as well. Uh, they have to take care of the basketball better. And uh, I know the, the stat sheet here has them with a seven. I had them with 11, actually, but... Uh, nevertheless, uh, they need to they need to take care of the ball. And they need to devalue these possessions every time down the floor. Uh, you, you don't want to give Arlington any run out opportunities because they're going to be throwing it down on you. Getting ready to start the second half here, nine point lead for the Apaches of Arlington Country Day. They, they ended the half on, a, on an 8-0 run. 8-0 run, I had it down at seven, but or you're, you're the right. statistician historic Nair, so we'll go with you. Yeah, 8 0 ran, it was 26 25. And uh, they scored the last eight points there. To go up by nine, that's their biggest lead of the game. Brown will start the second half at the guard spot, along with Morris, who's got it right now on the left wing. Same starters for our savior. At start of the ball game. Mm. Nice move inside by Michael Javis. I'm really impressed with Michael Javis. I, I, I think he's kind of a unsung player on this team who's uh, played very well. Leads up to double figures, 36-25. Down the lane and a foul. That's what you do, take it to the basket. Martinez has uh, seven. You know, actually, mostly it's been uh, Martinez and, and Bellamy scoring. Uh, we're going to look at Martinez just streaking to the hole there. Going to call the foul on Javez with a body. Martinez He's got the first free throw. Right? Got the first one to go. Second one is off the back rim. Rebound comes down to Jordan Goodman. Here comes Goodman all the way to the goal. Missed the layup. Trying to get a little too fancy with a ball sure with a rebound. He sure did. I, I was thinking the same thing. Martinez trying to thread the needle. Couldn't do it. Turnover. Number 12 for our saver and a foul as the Apaches trying to run down the court against Will Martinez. And that's Will's third personal, so the point guard, one of the backcourt mates for the Pioneers, is in some foul trouble early here in the third quarter. 
Yeah, and he's a player that can ill afford to do without when you're looking at how many turnovers they have. Uh, and if he's their point guard and the best one they have, then that could be trouble. And they pulled him out of the ball game. So he is down. Substitution, LeBrent Walker will take Martinez's place on the court. Knocked away by Lewis. Good defense. Over the top, they tried to go inside to Morris. I really think Arlington needs to establish that inside a lot better than they did that first half. They, they fell in love with that three-point line, and, and that's an easy thing to do. You know, you hit one or two of them, and you think you're hot. Absolutely. you got some big boys inside that can do some damage with Goodman and Javis. And down the lane, a running shot is good nice. by Ian Baker. Baker with a nice night. He's in double figures with 11. Yeah, Goodman good. leads the team in scoring with 12 points. That's another another very good game there from, from him. Balamu for our savior has 14 points here tonight. Down the lane goes Thomas. Missed it, gets his own rebound, goes up. Javis stood there like a brick wall mark. Back, oh, in, nice tra pass. back in transition yeah. is Carlos Morris, and Morris gives the Apaches a 14-point lead, and the Pioneers call a timeout to talk it over. It's a nice pass from Goodman, and it uh, shows he's uh, that complete player. You know, you, you got to be able to give up the ball when you when you see the opportunity there. A full timeout taken by the Pioneers, and here goes the Apaches taking a 14-point lead on the inside. And there is Morris. And they have to be really careful here because this game could get out of hand in a hurry. 14 points is going to be hard to catch up to in its own right, but this game could turn really ugly real fast. And you see Rex Morgan talking to his troops, probably telling them to say, hey, let's keep the momentum, let's keep the, right. you know, keep Push. pounding it down their throats, and let's just try to end this game here early on in the second half. Yeah, let's keep pushing it, and uh, and that's they've they've really come out with a lot of energy here in the in the third quarter, and you know those first three or four minutes of the of the second half are so important uh, in in any situation, college, high school, whatever. We talked about it last night in the uh, in the game. The Ironton, the Ironton Taft game. Taft just came out and just rammed it, rammed it, and rammed it, and they ended up blowing out the host school of Fighting Tigers, led by head coach Mark Lafon last night. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, there's there's been some some outstanding teams in this tournament, and uh, I, I really I really enjoyed watching Taft as much as any of them. Uh, yeah. just just how they played. Yeah, they've done a great job here at this tournament, and. You know, Arlington Country Day with a 14-point lead, really jumping out early on here in the third quarter. Let's see uh, how they fare as the remainder of the game winds down here at the Conley Center in Ironton, Ohio at the 2010 Ironton Classic. Balamu, Sumaro with a power dribble. Back out top. They're going to try the big fella once again. Spin move, lost it, turnover. Gary Brown with it. Here comes Brown down the court. Oh, feeding inside is Ian Baker. <laughs> wow. With no regard for human life, he threw it down. <laughs> that is the way to do it. we got a special guest here with us. We have uh, Mark LaFon, and I'll tell you what, you watch all this talent out here, Mark, it's tremendous just watching the watching all these great teams play in this tournament. Oh, it's a great treat. And like I said, you got a great collection of athletes that uh, work tremendously hard at their game, and it's a special treat for all the people here in the Ironton community and Tri-State to be able to see it. How, how, we, how have you been able to get – this thing together so quickly and in three years to, to see what it's becoming. Mean, it's, it's becoming a national event in, yeah. in a short time. How, how's that happen? Well, we've had a lot of help. Obviously, it starts right with your base, your foundation, the people that work at the people behind the scenes, people who are willing to put the time in. You're talking, you know, a big staff of people that volunteer their time to make this happen and having a good, firm plan. But, uh, you know, we, we try to utilize some people that are on a national level, like uh, Mr. Gaynor here, who's helped us out tremendously. Uh, and, you know, and then once we start uh, networking and talking to coaches, and the, and the number one thing that sells it is we have the best hospitality there is out there. And that's what the coaches will say to you. You know, we have the best hospitality. Giovanni's Pizza, wow, I'll tell you what, I've, been, I've had my fill of that myself. I know, I talked to a couple of the Colombians. That they know how to say Giovanni's, I know that. <laughs> that's great. Uh, when does the work start on this tournament, getting the teams for next year? I mean, I know these, a lot of these teams have, have big schedules, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're not Hawaii. You know, we're not Florida. We're not California. How, how, when, how soon do you have to start getting these teams? Well, I mean, you, you start right away. I mean, you know, I have to start. Uh, I've already set up a couple for next year already, and, uh, you know, we have to get those confirmed before I can really let those out. But, okay. you know, once you start and get it going, the teams want to come back if you've done the right thing. We, we can't compete with Hawaii and, and New York or L.A. or – 
with what they have to offer arena wise and like but those places can't compete with us with the people of our area uh, with the hospitality and the way they treat people and i'm not saying other places treat them poorly but they definitely want to step in and, and do a good job and we have like i said the best hospitality around mark i really also think that the small kind of small town setup does a lot for these teams i know steve smith really likes coming here uh from oak hill academy he likes the small town uh set up you know these guys they get off the bus like you we've been talking about the last year or so they're like celebrities when they get off the bus and oh, yeah. the, 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 the town loves this uh this kind of talent coming in here every year and uh arlington country day mark has gotten off to a, a great start here in the third quarter to really oh, yeah. open up this lead they've scored the first uh they've scored eight points outscored them eight to one here in the third quarter so far with 451 yeah left. i was wondering if, if that was going to come about at some point <laughs> you, know, uh, you know so we'll see like i said you have to finish it off you have to sustain it though don't you See how the third quarter winds down here with the basketball in the Apache's hands. Mark, let's talk about your Iron team just a little bit. You came back tonight and got a good win uh, after playing a really tough Cincinnati Taft team last night. I thought they were very talented. and You guys played hard to the end, but they, they were just a little better than you last night. Well, the, and right now they are better than us. That's, that's the number one team in our division um, in, in the state of Ohio. So right now they're better than us, and, and that's just what it is. So we know what our earmark is now. and. And uh, we have to move forward and, and try to get, like I said, if we have any dreams of moving to that level and making it to the Final Four and have a chance to win, we have to. That's that's your mark right there, yeah. Taft. Maybe, so, maybe play them again, huh? If we if the way it's set up right now, if we'd see them again, it'd be state semifinals, which would be after our region, yeah. the next game. If if they, you know, they got upset last year too. They were number one and got upset in the regional finals. Yeah, tough division, uh, tough state. Really, yes. uh, a lot of good basketball yes. in Ohio. I know the the team from New York. Yeah. They heard about the tournament, I think, through uh, Steve Smith at, at Oak Hill, who told them about it, and I guess they contacted you, and that's kind it of was, how the It was Steve really. and Rich both, uh, and, you know, Rich could probably tell you a little bit more about the details of that, but, you know, uh, that that networking piece is what has it going now, moving forward, um, you know. But to, to start out, it was just – it was grunt work starting out, just making every phone call we could make to every school and just said, hey, you want to come to Ironton? That was about the way it was and just selling a product of hospitality. And like I said uh, – the people out, you know, I owe it to the teams that came the first year too, you know, that, that helped sell it after we did it. All right. Well, you've done a great job with it, and, and uh, we're proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Well, we, you guys do a great job with it. We appreciate all your support as well and covering the game for these young men, you know, like I said, in, at all levels, whether it be a Division Four team or, or a prep school, you guys do a great job showcasing these kids. They deserve it. Glad to do it. Congratulations on another successful tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Mark LaFon, the tournament director, athletic director here at Ironton High School, joining us. What a great block getting back in transition by Opekba. And the Pioneers find themselves in an 18-point hole trying to dig out of it. And then the shots just aren't falling for them, and they have it this whole tournament. Thomas feeding it on the inside. And one guy who's been a strong suit for the Pioneers, that's Felix Balamu. He's got his first points of the second half. He's got 16 in the ballgame. And a great <laughs> effort there by Goodman trying to finger roll it. And Sumara with a rebound. Yeah, like Here he comes is. Javon Thomas, oh. and he's fouled on the way up. He's got, uh, I think, his dreams of, of being a guard, Goodman. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, every big man does, right? While we have a, a moment, I'd like to thank some of the sponsors that make this possible. You see their graphics as uh, you see Thomas going to the goal, and he's hit on the way up by Brown. So Javon's got two at the line. Tri-State Building and Construction Trades Council, they are the Presenting sponsor this year, the Collins Career Center, Fox Sports 1230 and 1420, the Western and Southern Financial Group, Buffalo Wild Wings, Giovanni's of Cool Grove. As you said, you've enjoyed their pizza the Absolutely. last couple days. <laughs> Creative Financial Solutions, and my good friend Jay Zorns, the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Time Warner Cable, Time Warner Cable Sports, Racks Roast Beef, St. Mary's Medical Center, and Covenant Home Health Care Solutions, all proud sponsors of the third annual Ironton Classic, and we do appreciate them being a part of the event this year. Javis goes inside. He's hit. He scores it, and he'll go to the line. Javis is a nice player. He has really uh, raised his stock, if you ask me, in this tournament. He's played so well both games. He's got eight points and a chance at number nine. Also would like to thank Buckeye Monument and Greg Kleiber, a local Ironton man here, and he's done a great job. They sponsored the Ironton game earlier on tonight. And all the hospitality, as Mark said, the, the ladies up uh, in the oh, hospitality wow. room. Tremendous, yeah. They just keep that stuff coming, don't they? Coach Hacker's wife. We've got yeah. 
Tim hard. Johnson's wife, you know, some great help upstairs, and we do appreciate everything you've done this year as we wind down another there great we week, short week it is, of high school basketball as Felix Balamu's got 18. You know, the one thing I, I should have asked Coach LaFont is, uh, are they going to expand this thing in? A, you know, or are they going to try to get a, a few more games in? Dangerous pass comes over near us. But I'm sure it's tough. It's tough getting these teams. Uh, they they are, are highly sought after. I'm sure Arlington is, and and our savior is, in particular. Uh, and Oak Hill as well. Uh, Oak Hill, obviously, yeah. Uh, everybody kind of wants a wants those guys to come to their town. Yeah, I kind of told Mark about our savior along with Steve Smith at Oak Hill, and you know we got it done. So. I mean, not a great performance this year for the Pioneers, but uh, no, great talent, as you can say, they've got, yeah. as you can see, they've got some, some talent on the floor and a travel. Another turnover for the Pioneers in a 15-point hole right now with two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. So Javon Thomas will return for the Pioneers. They are so frustrated. You can just heads, see. Heads down. Yeah. Just Body language. You yeah. Can, you can read it. But all smiles on the Apache side for head coach Rex Morgan. They've got a 15-point lead right now. And they're not going to let up. Baker goes baseline, and he stepped out of bounds. Yeah. I, I like the fact that they've, they've attacked the rim a lot better this second half and uh, not settled for those three-pointers. They haven't been, I don't know if they've shot any to, to this point uh, in, the, in the second half after half their shots were from behind the arc in the first half. Well, it sounds like they're actually listening to what we're saying. Yeah, that, well, that, that might be a first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got to be careful with that. Here's Martinez on the right wing. Shot is in and out no good. And our saber not even going after any offensive rebounds right no. now. And up ahead goes nice. Carlos Morris up ahead of the field. Morris has really played well, too, in both these games. Palamu, the only bright spot, I would say, for our saber with a crossover dribble against Javis. Ball fake gets him in the air. 15-footer off the back rim. Rebound. Inside is Opekpa, and he puts it up and in. So Opekpa. You can see the talent out there. I mean, there's no, no question, but for whatever reason, they just haven't gelled together in this in this tournament. Here's a three ball. Three and Baker. He's got 16. It's that whole inside-out thing, though, you know? Get the ball into the big fella. Double team comes. Kick it to your open man and knock down the three. Yeah, yeah don't, don't go the other way. It, it doesn't work. Absolutely not. 18-point lead right now. And inside, Thomas goes. Java's got a piece of it. Yep, he did. Now the Apaches, if they score on this possession, will be up by 20. Down the lane, a high arcing shot <laughs> is off the front <laughs> rim by Morris and back on the... That about drew water. Pioneers. <laughs> Thomas trying to feed it inside to Opekpa. Now in the left-hand corner, shot is short. Oh, wow. By Jonathan Alexander, who checked in for the Pioneers on the last dead ball. Turnover. Here's Martinez pushing, feeding Opekba, spinning inside with the left hand, missed it. Back and forth we come. Here's <laughs> track, Morris now. Track mate. Uh-oh. As Thomas tried to stand there and take the charge, Morris lost the ball. Thomas back with it. Martinez in front of us for three. There's been a lid on the basket here for the Pioneers pretty much yeah. both nights they've played here at the Conley Center. They're going to be glad to get out of the, the Conley Center. It's been the nightmare center for them. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Headed to fresher waters, if you will. Yeah. Ten seconds to go. Last shot here for the Apaches up by 18. Baker feeding it to Morris. Morris underneath to Summy, and he got it with a second to go, and that ends the third quarter. So a solid piece of basketball by the Apaches. So Rex Morgan and his bunch go into the fourth quarter up by 20. 53-33 ACD over our Savior New American. As you look at the replay here to end the third quarter, nice feed from Morris getting it to his teammate Sumney. His eyes on the back of the head there, wasn't it? And Sumney lays it in. He's got his first points of the night. 53-33 as we head to the fourth quarter. You're watching the 2010 Ironton Classic on Time Warner Cable Sports.
back at the Conley Center here at Ironton High School. As we look at the replay coming up here for ACD so nice. on the big jam oh, yeah, that by was Baker. A good one. <laughs> he elevated, didn't he? Yes, he did. He just threw it in. And he threw it in hard. Getting set to start the fourth quarter here. Sideline reporter tonight, Gary Swinney. My color man, Mark Maynard. I'm Rich Gaynor. Thanks for joining us tonight along with our great crew here from the Conley Center. Last quarter of the 2010 Ironton Classic. Had a lot of fun here this week in Ironton. Looking forward to next year. And our savior, I think, is looking forward to the next game. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Look at the next town. Balamu with an air ball. One thing about it, uh, like Coach Lafon said, you're, you're treated like royalty here, you know, where these teams are. Oh, absolutely, with the kids and, and uh, getting autographs. and Right. Shot is missed inside. Baker. Joseph's left hand. Nice move. Ooh, sweet. Naturally a right-handed player, but he, can sh he shows he's a little ambidextrous. That was sweet. Good move. Palamu, our savior, not really moving the basketball at all. I mean, just no. settling for long jumpers. There's a Martinez three. Cuts the lead to 19, 55-36, but up ahead, no defense, and a missed layup by Junior Etu. Ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Officials looking all of for help. <laughs> we can probably show them a replay and tell them where it is. Okay, we're going to give it that way. Our officials tonight, Tony Sykes, Mike Lemons, and Jack McKinney, and they're going to give the ball to the Pioneers down 19. Hey, officiating's been very good in this tournament. Uh, there's a couple situations that had to be calmed, and they calmed them quickly, which is, you know, kind of what you want to do. They yeah. also, there haven't been, we haven't had the games where people shoot, you know, 50 free throws. I mean, they've let them play, and, and I think that's been a good thing. All the games are on time. Thomas goes baseline. Try to follow it was Sumaro. Pardon me, Opekba. Oh, yeah. And on the leg in is Gary Brown. 21-point lead, 57-36, six and a half minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Malamu's going to wise and fire, no good, rebound. Down to Baker. Baker into the front court. Guarded by Lewis. Kick ball there against Malamu, so the Apaches will keep it. Martinez gets back in for Javon Thomas. Tough night for Thomas. Tough couple nights for Javon Thomas. Yeah. St. John's uh, commit. Plenty of better days ahead. I mean, he, he, he wasn't going to St. John's unless he was a very good player. So uh, I'm sure we haven't seen the best of him or even a, a small part of him, really. Timeout taken by Time ACD. It's the thing about basketball, though. You, you know, you, you do have nights like that. You know, and, and I guess that's why there's it's, not, it's nice that there's a lot of games because uh, – you have more chances to redeem yourself. More nights to showcase your talent. Six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter and a 21-point Apache lead, and here's a wide-open three on the right baseline, Mark. Yes, just aiming and firing. And bottom of the net. Baker filling it up from downtown. Baker has got the dunk, and he's hit the three, and he's uh, had a pretty good showing. He's put on a good showing, 16 points tonight for the junior. 6-1 junior guard. And as you see, Rex Morgan still coaching the team. Oh, yeah. Coaching them up, up yeah. by 21. You don't stop coaching, no matter what the score is. Uh, up or down. And uh, this, this, these guys, uh, obviously, you have a lot of respect for him. They listen to him. You can tell they're in tune with him, and they do what he says. And if you don't want to listen, you're not coming. Yep. Shot is an air ball. Sean Smith, who is one of their best players, Mark, is actually home for violation of team rules so hmm. and he has interest wow. from he's been offered by florida state kansas state west virginia and ole miss wow. so some <laughs> some big time programs looking to get sean smith involved turnover here's martinez ahead of the field and a layup is good for will martinez martinez with 13 points we want to offer a, a special thanks to brad bear and sean daniel uh, Ohio University employees who have worked hard this past two nights helping the students out. And this has been, you know, quite a learning experience for, for these guys at Ohio Southern. And, and they just have a tremendous program there, I'm telling you. Ohio U, I told the guys last night, Matt Lauer, I mean, there's been a lot of good talent that comes out of their broadcasting school in Athens and even down here in Ironton. And our camera guys have been great. Chris Barker, Aurora Depew, Jared Nance, Jerry Lewis, Travis Jeffers, our director, Alan Brown. Sideline man, Gary Sweeney, 
Slow-mo. Replay guy, Joe Hammonds. Graphics, Maggie Colley. On the tapes is Jade Merritt and our audio man, Tom Jones, and our executive producer, Don Moore. That's quite a team. And, of course, I can't leave out my color man, Mark Maynard. Had some fun working with you the last couple nights, partner. Yeah, I've, I've had a great time, Rich. It's been, uh, been quite my pleasure, I'll tell you. Well, it's been the pleasure of ACD putting it on our savior. They're up by 20 with 520 remaining here in the ball game. Get back on the plane and head back to New York, celebrate the Christmas holiday, and then back on the road for the Pioneers. Good hustle there. Jump ball. You'd like to see him on the floor, uh, you know, especially in a 20-point game. The alternating possession arrow gives it to ACD. Oh, look at that. Up ahead, no <laughs> doubt about it, Morris. Wow. <laughs> Tomahawk. No one even within an ear shot. No, that was bad. I would have been able to make the layup. Well, yeah. I would have been able to dunk it unless I was jumping off of a trampoline. Yeah. But <laughs> 60 to 38, 450 remaining. Here's the jumper from Opekba is long. Morris. Tracks it down for the Apaches. 17-footer on the right wing nice. is smooth as silk for Jordan Goodman. The Rutgers commit. He's got 14 tonight. First basket of the second half. Uh -oh. And inside, an injured player basket's going to count for Opekba. But a hobbling Michael Javis. Let's see, let's see if he's going to stay in there. He did get up. I don't think Rex is looking to the bench. I think they're going to keep him in. Unless he says he can't go. And he wants to go. He wants to go. <laughs> he says, Coach, we're up 22. You don't need me right now. Oh, here he goes out anyway. Dalron Summy will take his place. Javez with nine points tonight for the Apaches. And as you said, Mark, he's been one of the more impressive players on this ACD squad. Yeah, he really has. Um, you know, he's been the one guy they could count on on the inside. And... Uh, especially on the defensive end, he, he, he uh, created some problems for uh, for teams on both nights. Traveling violation on Will Martinez. ACD is just rocking and rolling on that Goodman basket. I can't imagine our Savior's been beat two nights in a row like this in a long time. 24-point lead for ACD. Four minutes to go. A full timeout on the floor taken by the Pioneers. And uh, Goodman adding some salt to the wounds on that last basket. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, it's probably more his range as far as his outside range, although he can hit the three, but, man, did that look nice from that, that corner, like you said, about 17, 16, 17-footer, 17 nice uh, mid-range kind of shot. And, uh, it, it's, uh, we're going to we're gonna get to take another look at that shot here, I think. It's Coach Morgan talking to, talking to his team. Talking to his group, and here's Goodman on the inside. Nice finish. Good job by Goodman. Goodman's done a little bit of everything. Played very well. 16, 16 points. Is he in? 64 to 40, 24 point lead for the Apaches on Time Warner Cable Sports. Stick around. Back at the Conley Center here in Ironton, Ohio. 24-point lead for the Apaches of ACD Arlington Country Day out of Jacksonville, Florida. The inside shot is missed on the reverse try by Summy. Pioneers with it. Some bench players have come in for our savior, number 20. Shaquille Simmons getting some valuable minutes here. The 6'3 senior, Goodman. Putting on a show here, the spin move, and wow. he's called for a traveling violation. Oh, tough. And he just stares down the referee and <laughs> says, I didn't travel. I got three steps on him, though. He does. Too bad he's not wearing the whistle. Here's a Kogo. Martinez. 
Martinez, after getting off to a, a solid start turnover, just really kind of has faltered down the uh, down yeah. the last three quarters here. Yeah, he really has he hasn't uh, hasn't held up there, and it was, he kind of got out of sync with those early fouls and, and really never recovered from that. Well, both teams, Arlington Country Day and uh, and uh, our Savior New American, have dates with Oak Hill Academy this year. Ouch, really. That could be rough for both teams, but I think ACD can hang hang tough with Oak Hill Academy as uh, yeah, their size their size makes the difference. Josephs goes inside, takes the hit, and scores it, and he's fouled. Um, and our Savior, ha they have the potential, I think, but I, I just haven't seen them play well enough together. I, I, I'm not. It's not an indictment on anybody. I just, for whatever reason, they haven't played well together in this in these two games. Uh, Duke ago is called with a foul. His first personal fifth on the team, 66 to 40. Make it 67 40. Three minutes to go. Here in the fourth quarter, crowd starting to file out of the Conley Center. John Peloso is on the floor for our savior, number 10 in blue. Carlos Morris turns it over. And Busha Janicia is back into the game for our savior as oh, he elevated. Wow. LeBrent Walker tried to go baseline and stuff it in. It was denied. Here's Morris. <laughs> Sloppy play here is. <laughs> that was a pass to anybody in the vicinity. <laughs> Delron Summey scores it, 67 69 of 40 now. And a foul on the inside. We'll send to the Pioneers to the line for two. Fouls on Junior Eto. Eto is uh, charged with his second personal, third team foul tonight against the Apaches. But a good overall start to finish for Arlington Country Day, and oh, they're yeah. up by 29. Great performance. There's a good man on the, on the bench there. He had his shoe off. I wonder if his foot's bothering him a little bit. He's, he has played hard through that injury. Or maybe his night is just done. Oh, I'm going to relax and put my feet up <laughs> and enjoy the last 2.20 of the ball game. That's what I'm going to do in about a half hour here. Me too. Brandon Adams, 6'8", junior, comes off the bench for Arlington Country Day. Number 33 in white, Martinez. Second free throw good. Two of two on this trip. 69-42 ACD, 2.15 to go in the ball game. But another successful Ironton Classic for Mark LaFon and looking forward to doing it next year, just a couple days before the Christmas holiday. Martinez goes down the lane, missed it. Janicia yeah. tried to tip it home and could not do so, and ACD back with it. Nice little... Oh. Move there, shot is missed, tip up and in. I believe the Kofi basket Josephs. will be credited to Kofi Josephs. 69, 40, 71, 42, pardon me. Good job rebounding in there, keeping that ball alive. The big fella getting on it at two. And out of bounds. Running to the end. It's the Apache's game, isn't it? They're going to bring back Ian Baker. Make sure they don't turn the ball over anymore. Here's the replay on the uh, that was just faltered <laughs> effort by Brandon Adams. No hands team there. Another turnover for the Pioneers. You stopped, you, you kept, I can't, I you, quit. you stopped kept keeping track of the uh, turnovers yeah. for the Pioneers about midway through the third quarter. You need an adding machine. And the floater is good for Ian Baker. So another hoop. For ACD, they're up by 31 points under a minute to go. Shot no good, rebound. Trying to tip was Venetia. May not be a foul call unless there's blood. Venetia couldn't tip it in. 45 seconds remaining. <laughs> another turnover, <laughs> not, another turnover. Three turnovers in oh, good five seconds. And they feed on the inside. Good Foul's pass. gonna be on Shaquille Simmons. That'll put are wrapping it down, rapidly wrapping it up here. That'll put Brandon Adams on the line. We're going to watch a little give and take here. Behind the back, uh-oh. There you go. Still. And Mr. Brown, take it right back from me. <laughs> Don't put that ball in front of me. First free throw is missed. Protect the basketball, right? Any coach you ask, 
That's what they're gonna tell you, protect the rock. Mm -hmm. Second one on the way for Adams is no good, so an empty trip for the 6'8 junior. 37 seconds to go. Here comes Balamu. Walker got blocked good pass, by though. Etu. Here's Walker, three to the left, he got it. Seventy-three to forty-five. Another twenty-eight point loss for yeah. the Pioneers. As the layup is missed to keep my statement true by Brandon Adams. <laughs> I don't know why. Here's a lob. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go of course, twenty-six points. So twenty-eight point loss last night to Huntington Prep. Twenty-six point defeat tonight to Arlington Country Day. So a nice performance by the Apaches. They win it 73-47. Yes. Final thoughts here, Mark, on a great classic. Yeah, great uh, two days of basketball, 10 games in two days, and uh, we've had a great time again. Uh, I look forward to doing it again next year. And uh, I look forward to seeing who uh, Coach LaFon can uh, can uh, get to come. I, it's just been very impressive, and the, the amount of talent here this year was phenomenal. I'm sure he'll keep plug it away and have some more top talent back here next year at the 2011 edition of the Ironton Classic. Pioneers fall to 5-3 and three, and the Apaches of ACD improved to 10-0 for head coach Rex Morgan. So for all the men and women on our crew, our director Alan Brown, our executive producer Don Moore, and our sideline man Gary Sweeney, and my color man Mark Maynard, this is Rich Gaynor saying so long from the Conley Center in Ironton, Ohio. Once again, your final score. Arlington Country Day gets a win, 73-47 over our savior, New American. This has been a presentation of Time Warner Cable Sports. Good night from Ironton, Ohio, and happy holidays, everybody. Hey, good show.
All right. All right. Can you hear me, Alan? Alan, can you hear Mark? Okay. Oh. All right, good. <laughs>